All right, this week's IMPI is from? Bud Industries. Bud. This is, I think, our first one from Bud. They're our yeah. best buds. Um, this is an American company that uh, specializes in enclosures. They're really good at outdoor enclosures. And today we're featuring uh, one of their enclosures. I think they did a really nice job on. It's a nice box. Yes, this is a nice box. So let's check this out. Um, okay, I'm going to pull this up. Okay. I'm going to go to the first. Uh... Yes, sorry. Please oh, do. Sure. I'm going to read off the part number. This is the AIO 11111 or the 11112. So that's four ones and a one or a two. Uh, from Bud Industries, they're they're very similar, um, and uh, this is kind of neat because I've seen um, enclosures that are you know latched outdoor enclosures. Yes, I've seen um, outdoor enclosures that have clear fronts. Yes, but I have not yet seen an enclosure that has both. This enclosure um, it's meant for you know wall mounting, um, electronic projects, and what's really neat about it, and I think I think let's go back to the front because I to show this I kind of need sure. to. Uh, Okay, so this is the enclosure. This is one of the biggest uh, uh, IMPIs. So um, this is one door that you can open and it's clear. And then there's a second door, which is latched. So I can open this like that. And then I can open this. I have to be careful not to clonk you or me. So there's basically a window here and a window there. And then there's this plate, which you can mount onto the back here to protect the inner area from the outer area. Like there's basically two sections of this enclosure and um, so you can keep some parts safe and secure on yeah. the inside while having this door. Yeah, this that second photo shows it pretty well. The second, um, the clear door can open up um, while keeping stuff on the inside safe. So why is this cool? Well, obviously, you know, usually you have um, a clear, uh, you know, you have a clear front if you want to have um, LEDs or TFTs or gauges or whatever, but with this enclosure, the, the door lets you open up and also like press buttons or reset it without opening up the big part of the enclosure, which could get dust or water into it because both doors uh, are gasketed and it's IP66. Okay, so let's go to uh, number two. Yeah, so we have so some measurements. Yeah, so check out the data sheet because it's really nice. They did a good job um, giving you all the dimensions you could possibly need, the mounting bosses, the height, the depth, like, you know, everything is quite nice. Um, they've got it in DXF format as well as PDF, but like I'm just showing two images from um, the data sheet, but there's a ton. Inside there's mounting bosses uh, with tons of holes for mounting um, internal circuitry or, or mechanical panels as a substrate. Um, one of the really nice things about these enclosures, and I've seen a lot of enclosures since I really stuck out at me, is that the gasketing is, um, it's not like a bead ring. That you, sometimes you get O-rings or like little beads and they work okay, but this is actually kind of an extruded thick plastic rubber um, gasket and both doors are gasketed fully. Um, so that was, that's what gives it the IP66 rating, um, which means that it is fully dust proof and it's waterproof you know, to the extent that you can have jets coming at it. Um, and it'll be protected from, from water jetting in. Obviously, if you cut holes, you'll have to weatherproof those holes. Um, I will mention that um, even though it's IP66 rated, the material it's made out of is ABS plastic and it's not UV treated. So it's not meant for outdoor in the sun exposure because it'll, it'll slowly crack the ABS plastic. You could put it outside, but just make sure it's not you know, exposed to UV light. Um, which is hard to do if it's outside because, you know, outside there's sun. Um, but if it is indoors, it's going to be well protected against any sort of dust or oil or water um, that you might have in, you know, your factory or around your robot or around your maker project or maybe it's like a home automation center. That would be something really uh, good to make with it. Um, there's also some cool accessories if you want that inner plate, you want to mount stuff to it, you can actually get plates um, at the top. I show the images at the bottom are the DigiKey part numbers and they have them in stock um, for a uh, plastic plate and a metal plate that even has like drill holes in it so you can like easily mount, you know, more complicated electronics um, or robotics components into the enclosure. And then of course the front plate, it has that little insert plate I showed you. It's also ABS plastic. So it's really easy to machine or mill. Um, and I'll also show you the video about customization. Um, but I think like if you want to make a project that has like 
you know, a big power electronics thing or monitoring thing or IoT thing and you want like the, that, you know, that Raspberry Pi to be safe and then you want the, the display and the buttons and the gauges separately available, this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You don't have to pick and choose. And it's in stock. Available on DigiK. There's two types. Again, there's the 1111 and there's the 1112. I think the 1111 is seven and a half inches deep and the 1112 is nine and a half inches deep. That's the, the depth from the wall. Um, but check the specifications uh, to make sure. As you saw, it's a pretty big box, but like it'll fit anything in it for sure. Definitely like a large display. Um, and then of course uh, use um, cable glands if you want to maintain the IP66 rating for all the cables that are coming out of it. Yeah, someone in the chat said um, the inner panel is great for mounting screens, buttons, selector switches, and so on. That's yeah. exactly what it's for, and I love that you can open up. You know, you don't have to expose all the delicate innards. You can have a semi-protected yeah. area and then, like, the very, you know, delicate electronics behind it um, because every time you're opening that panel to reset the button or to adjust something or to turn it on or off, you don't want to expose all of your wiring to, to whatever dust uh, a light or oil or humidity that right. you've got in your house. And here's a video about it. Here's how to customize uh, the box, which is a service that DigiKey and Bud offer together. So contact a DigiKey sales rep if you want to have like custom holes drilled in. As your design work on your great new project is wrapping up, you realize that you need an enclosure. In the past, when time was tight, you would have to purchase a standard box and then send it out to either a local job shop or the shop in the back of your facility to have the holes and slots put in for such things as connectors, power cords, readouts, or whatever else you might need. This was either expensive or pulled your employees away from other jobs that they could be doing. But you really didn't have a choice because getting a custom product out of a typical enclosure manufacturer was harder than getting a bill through Congress. Today, you have a great alternative. Bud Industries has pioneered rapid turnaround for modifications to its broad line of standard enclosures. Here are the quick steps to making it happen. First, use Bud's product selector to choose the product that best matches your needs. Then. Check with Bud or your local distributor to be sure it's in stock. Once you've found the right enclosure, send us a drawing of required modifications to the box. Of course, CAD or 3D models are great, but Bud can also work with as little as a sketch. When we have received your information, we'll quickly get a quote out to you. As soon as you place your order, Bud will rapidly create a detailed drawing for you to approve. Once you confirm the drawings, Bud will complete your customized order in 6 days for the first run, or 5 days for repeat orders. This is two to three times faster than most enclosure suppliers and covers holes, slots, or other cutouts in the enclosure. Note that there's no premium charge for this service. It's just Bud's everyday great service. Three, five, 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 five.